I've been in line for about four hours. Me and her, we actually came here this morning um, around eight, eight o'clock this morning. To be honest, it is very frustrating. Honestly, I just think that they could take a better approach about, especially during winter time, about standing in line right now, because uh, even standing in here, you could even like have a cold or get a cold just by standing outside. <laughs> you gotta talk to people in line. That's the key to making the line move fast. <laughs> yeah, it seems like people are, uh, the public consciousness is increasing and people are getting tested more because of that. I am flying home for the holidays. I think with the numbers rising and knowing that they want to see their families and the restrictions that their parents or themselves are putting on each other has been a little challenging. We continue to see supply challenges in the laboratory community writ large. There will be a longer turnaround time, so that means there may be um, some, some longer delays in returning the results simply because things may get backlogged. We're not seeing that at the moment, but as those cases increase, demand increases, turnaround time may increase. Um, so it, it's, it's like a dog chasing its tail. Quite frankly. It seems like, speaking to my friends, for the most part everywhere they're going, the lines are crazy. I mean, yeah, there are definitely countries across the world that are a lot less industrialized and developed than us, that um, have had rapid testing for months longer than we have. Um, so I think to American citizens it feels like an act of choice rather than just a lack of, of resources because it's clear that they're available, this shouldn't be the situation.